Now we go to Court Copying in the Storm Tracker Weather Center. Looks like a pretty nice weekend for a Harvest Festival, Court. Not bad at all for the longest running Harvest Festival in California. It's a fantastic weekend for that, especially in the foothills. If you're trying to get out of the heat that we're going to be experiencing the valley, it will be a touch more comfortable in our foothill areas. And it's going to be dry and sunny as well. So if you do like to head out and get some apple pie, this weekend looks pretty fantastic for that. Checking in with the impacts on the way for today and through your weekend in the next week, we're going to be bright and toasty out there today. The peak of this week's heat arrives tomorrow, and then we do see temperatures sharply dropping and the chance for showers returning early next week. Now a live look outside this morning, the Sundial Bridge in Redding, clear skies overhead, winds modest but sustained out of the north in the 5 to 10 mile an hour range, and we do have temperatures that are artificially warmer in Redding due to those downslope winds compared to the rest of the valley. So if you're trying to get that walk out on the bridge this morning, it doesn't look like you're going to need that extra layer. Check this out, a big disparity right now in temperatures between the northern end of the valley in Redding and the Mid Valley in Butte County, a 15 degree swing from Redding to Chico and Orville, 61 for Orville and Chico, 76 degrees right now for Redding. It's a pretty sharp drop all the way to Red Bluff from Redding as well, 9 degree drop there, 67 degrees. So again, those downslope north winds certainly keeping Redding artificially warmer early today. 60s to low 70s in the foothills. We're seeing temperatures mostly in the 30s to 40s in our mountain zones. Several cities on the reporting sites are down early on today. That's why you're not seeing data there. Winds out of the northeast right now, only six miles an hour currently in Redding, but it was up to around 10 miles an hour over the last several hours. And early on this morning, we could still get, see gusts up to around 20 to maybe 25 miles an hour out of the north along I-5 in the valley. We're going to see those winds really subsiding towards this afternoon, but still out of the north up to around 10 to maybe 15 miles an hour. Overnight, winds staying a little breezy out of the north and then diminishing through the day on Friday, so lighter winds towards the afternoon. Great news for high school football watchers this Friday. It's going to be dry and clear out there. I know last week that thunderstorm activity really caught a lot of you off guard. As far as what we're seeing for Saturday, winds shifting to become out of the south. So that's going to give us a little bit of cooling influence or at least keep temperatures feeling a touch more comfortable if you're trying to get out and about this weekend. Satellite and radar clear skies overnight into this morning, and that's thanks in no small part to this strong ridge of high pressure that's dominating our weather pattern right now. It's a, it's a blocking pattern to keep anything approaching the west coast at bay. It's going to leave us dry, warm, and sunny today. Still limited influence from that trough off to our east, leaving us with the winds still out of the north today, but as that shifts further east, our winds diminish. Hyperlocal Futurecast, it's just sunshine ahead for today. 8 a.m., it's bright out there. Same with noon, same with your commute home at 5 p.m. You're going to want those sunglasses. Doesn't really look like you're going to need those extra layers all that badly. You might want one briefly this morning if you're in areas of the Southern Valley or higher elevations. Overnight tonight, clear skies into tomorrow morning and then sunshine for your Friday as well. Tomorrow's going to be the peak of this week's heat as high pressure builds in. And then we're seeing a little change of pace this weekend with the south winds cooling us off slightly. Still sunny Saturday, still sunny for the most part Sunday. And then that chance for cloudy skies, showers and cooler temperatures arriving Monday into early Tuesday. High temperatures today, upper 80s to low 90s in the northern mountains, 70s to mid 80s in the Sierra and southern Cascades, 70s to mid 80s in the foothills as well. If you're in the valley today, it's low to mid 90s, 94 degrees in Redding as well as Red Bluff, Chico 92 degrees as well as Oroville 93 for Willows. So get ready, this is toasty for early October standards. Your Storm Tracker 7-day forecast for your weekend's always in view. The peak of the heat this week is tomorrow, 93 degrees in Chico. Still in the low 90s with sunshine this weekend and lows in the low 60s and then a sharp drop into the upper 70s with cloudy skies Monday. Showers Monday night into Tuesday and even cooler on Tuesday. Redding mid 90s for the next couple of days, 96 on Friday. That's 10 degrees above average for Redding tomorrow. 93 Saturday, still low 90s Sunday and then a drop into the mid 70s with showers arriving late Monday. Continuing in the mid-70s Tuesday, but then warming back up as we dry out for the middle of next week.